Pink Floyd or rock royalty, but the band's name has an interesting connection to the blues. The name is a mashup of the names of two little-known early bluesmen from the American South. In this video, we're going to discuss the Pink and the Floyd in Pink Floyd. Blues music was huge in 1960s Britain. Most of the iconic rock musicians to come out of that place and time were heavily blues influenced or at least owned a lot of blues records. Even bands like Fleetwood Mac and Jethro Tull started out as full-blown blues bands before transitioning to rock and roll. Pink Floyd founding member Sid Barrett's record collection included an album of songs by the legendary Carolina bluesman Blind Boy Fuller. In the album's liner notes were the names of two similar blues singers, Pink Anderson and Floyd Council. Barrett combined the two into Pink Floyd and this became the name of the band that he would drive creatively until his departure due to mental illness. Pink and Floyd, along with Fuller, were all part of the Piedmont blues tradition. Most Piedmont blues artists came from the area surrounding the Appalachian Mountains from Virginia through the Carolinas and into Georgia. The style was popular in the pre-war years at the same time as the Delta blues, but unlike Delta blues, Piedmont blues is more upbeat and influenced by ragtime. Pink Anderson was born in upstate South Carolina in 1900 and spent most of his life near Spartanburg. He started his musical career as a teenager, serving as entertainment for touring medicine shows. He made four recordings accompanied by Simi Dooley in 1928 and wouldn't be recorded again until 1950. Medicine shows continued to be a source of gigs for Anderson, but it was the 60s blues revival that brought him into the spotlight. In the early 60s, he recorded enough material for a three-volume set of albums and did some touring. He died in 1974 at the age of 74. Floyd Council, born in 1911, was based in Chapel Hill, North Carolina. He started out in the 1920s busking in the streets. He eventually met blind boy Fuller and the two became busking partners. In 1937, he backed Fuller on several recordings and cut some of his own solo recordings during the same sessions. Walking and walking. Council was overlooked by the blues revival and died in 1976. There are no full albums of Council's work, but he can be found on compilations and on recordings by Fuller. Both of these bluesmen probably died not knowing the connection they had to a legendary rock group, but this connection is a testament to the influence that blues has had on modern music. 